Right, so we have another little project. I don't like finishing projects, clearly, as you can tell. I'll just start on another one. Got a V8 there, I've got to build. Flat four out of a T25. It's a 1.9 DG engine. Um, it's leaking from the crankcase. And there's got a piston blow by. It's my mate's engine. When he took it out, he snapped a couple of the head bolts. So we've got to extract, not head bolts, um, the <sighs> exhaust flange bolts. We'll have a look at them when we get down to it. Um, as you can see, these bad boys here. So we'll have to drill them out, drill some of them out, and uh, tap them or whatever. So we'll see what we can get out and what we can't. What we can get out, what we can't get out, we'll just um, go from there. But we've got to get this bad boy onto stand and then onto that. And then. Um, Go from there basically. Go on stand, start taking it apart. It's head gaskets. Um, I think it's a full, might be a full seal kit. I don't know. It's just a box of stuff he's given me. Because he wasn't going to do it. Ain't got time. We're going to take the whole thing apart and have a good old look at it. But it's not awfully heavy. So we'll get the stand on the back of it. Hopefully I can get it up high enough to slide it on there but um i'll put a camera on put a uh, time lapse on we'll get we'll get some stuff going set of these they're like normal nuts but they're a bit like, like a tap and die set but they won't cut thread they'll just clean the thread up so I've just had to clean the shit out of that one with that and just clean the thread off that so now I can put a, a nut on it should just tweed along quite easily now so, ideal bit of kit, definitely recommend getting one. So I'll just get that bolted on now and then uh, see if I can get on the stand. They get to watch me struggle putting that on there without an engine lift. Engine hoist. Let's move some of this out of the way. That shouldn't go in there. There's a pin for the top. Right. Should just be as easy as but we shall see. tube up my asshole which is not very pleasant
Hmm. I wonder if I come from the back. Come from that way. We'll get it up. I'm not playing it. I did it the best way that way, but it seems to be a tip here. Does that come off? Champion. Ooh. Let's get that in there. I've gone too far in now. Shit. Have a breather. Did that with keys and all sorts in my pocket. That was a silly idea. is in and it is on the stand. Let's untie this. Right, don't do that. It's not a healthy way. Picking the engine up. I'm stupid. So, but it's on. In theory, oh, I've just knocked the fucking lock pin out. In theory, we haven't got to do that again now. join on the stand now I don't know if there's any oil in it let's actually have a look shall we dry as a bone by looks at it not ideal because it's been sat outside on the floor for a reasonable period of time I'm going to have to hope we get all the leads and everything off just slowly start stripping it down. Um, I assume it's the same as a V8, so it's like one, two, three, four. It could be one, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. No? One, two, three, four. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, well, I'm not bothered at that bit in a minute. I can always find out the dizzy fucking timing later on. I'll take some photos of position in and all that razzmatazz. But, um, well, it's like a vacuum advanced timing. That's pretty nifty. 
That's pretty cool. Carl Burrell. So, might have to do a rebuild one then, but what we'll do is slowly strip it apart, bit by bit, work out what's what, what we've got to do with it. And then um, we'll delve into these parts and have a good old butchers at what's what. But by the looks of it, that threads out. It might be a case we have to drill these out. Drill them, tap them, and uh, uh, heli call them. I mean, or we'll see how much heads are. So, but we'll get to it. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be a quick video today. I've been waffling these past couple of just <clears throat> to introduce you to this bad boy. I think it had maybe 60 horsepower when it left the factory. So with the amount of blow by it had, it's probably quite shy of you. So um, let's see if we can cram some horses back into it. But yeah, thanks for watching. This will be probably filling episodes of me just tearing it apart, doing bits on it. But um, yeah, I'll tell you what, actually, let's see if it's seized first. Don't know what sort of socket that is. 36 maybe. Not a 36. This is probably a 32. I've got one of these around here somewhere. Have a look at it. There is compression, there's not a lot. Oh. But there is some. As you can hear. I think valves are held open to most of it. There's one, two, that's not a lot there, three, this, that's just gone for this TDC there, so let's have a look, one, two, They go like that, don't they? So, yeah, might be right. Seems a bit shit, but it'll do, it will do. But yeah, we'll have to fuel pressure. Is that a mechanical fuel pump? Likely. That's probably crusty. Anyway, let's, um, let's leave it there and um, we'll reconvene because I'm actually away next week. So when we come back, we'll tear into it and have a, have a good old butcher's, see what's what and what he's doing. Peace.